good afternoon from Tecate, Mexico, which is actually a magic town, Pueblo Magico, uh, tourist town. And I am with Veronica Contreras here from Co-Production International. Veronica, first of all, thank you so much for having me, inviting me up to Tijuana, Baja California. In the last couple of days, I've had a wonderful experience and we've been on a manufacturing tour of three Mexican factories today in the Baja California, Northern Baja California region, and was just, I'm just blown away at the high-tech manufacturing here. Well, that's the first thing, third, that's the first thing I've been blown away by, uh, but I've been blown away by a lot of things here in Baja California and the Tijuana area. And Veronica, for just a second, could you just tell us a little bit about the overall manufacturing in the Baja California region, in Tijuana, and its relationship with the United States and the importance of NAFTA to this region and to Southern California and the United States. Wonderful, thank you so much for coming. We're super excited that John joined us on our tour. We had over 20 companies that were with us and we visited Tijuana and Tecate. Um, today we sit in Tecate and to answer your question, we the importance of Southern California being in the northern part in connection next to Southern California has put us in an in interesting position when we consider what's going on with the China trade war um, and then the increasing minimum wage in California. Uh, the type of, of investor in the manufacturing industry that we're seeing we're seeing here locally is the Chinese manufacturer. Um, as well as the California manufacturer. We have a lot of companies who have hit a point where they're considering that they need to leave California. It's unfortunate and this is not good news, so this is not something that we want to, to see happening in California, but it's reality. With uh, minimum wages increasing in the next two to three years, uh, we have a lot of California manufacturers who are here with us today and are seeing that setting up factories in Tijuana or in Tecate is extremely viable. Not only because of the lower cost savings, that's obvious, but because of the infrastructure that's available here. We've got two ports available to us that we can bring international products in and out of Mexico. We have an abundance of labor force that is well qualified as we've been manufacturing here for over 50 years now. Um, we've got over 650 manufacturers who are operating under the maquiladora environment in Baja California alone. We have a huge medical device industry that's prospering. We have over, of the top 10 medical device manufacturers in the world. Six of them have a plant here in Tijuana. So that has all really shown in the tours that we did at Bro New Tone and SMK at Camelback that really uh, highlights the, the manufacturing environment that we have here. Yeah, it's just, it's a very different, in a positive way, manufacturing environment than I think exists in the rest of Mexico in regards to the technology and the focus, like you said, on medical devices and, uh, and overall high-tech products. So tell us a little bit to close, what do you guys do? So Co-Production International uh, works with foreign companies who are in the process of evaluating whether or not setting up a manufacturing facility is the right choice for them. So we walk them through the process, uh, the feasibility studies, uh, help them understand what the numbers are, and help them understand what their options are when evaluating setting up a manufacturing facility. We have a lot of creative solutions to help companies get started quickly with as much control as they're looking to have. So we handle all of the human resources, the accounting, the international trade and compliance, environmental health and safety, the uh, payroll processing and recruitment. So basically, all of the administrative headaches when it comes to setting up a manufacturing facility in Mexico, while our clients mm -hmm. maintain all the control in the manufacturing right. environment. And really, I mean, we, we talk about, Veronica and I, we do the same thing, but we do different things. And we one of the main things we have to explain to clients, and especially when they're prospects, is you're going to need people on the ground doing this stuff for you. In your case, all the accounting, and in our case, all of the sourcing and the, and the heavy lifting in regards to the manufacturing. If you try and go at it alone, a lot of times it's not going to work out the way you want. Exactly. So. I mean, you've been hearing about all of these manufacturers here who are looking to 
um, for local supply chain, right. right? And that's exactly where you come in and really being able to identify who's already here, you already know, right. and how you can help these manufacturers who are setting up here in Mexico. Right, okay, thank you so much, Veronica. And one final thing, if you ever end up doing business in the Baja California region, one of the best fringe benefits, I would say, is the cuisine and the wine, no? There you go. Okay. Cheers. Salud.